Gulf War veteran. And what I am finding is that in the Cincinnati area, we have a lot of people who have either served in Vietnam or in other wars, or have children or grandchildren who are currently serving in Iraq or Afghanistan. And we're finding that these young people come home and they're faced with a plethora of legal issues ranging from having their job stolen from their employer, by their employer, uh, being kicked out of their house, their landlord stole their stuff and sold it, uh, their wife or husband left them, they got child support issues. These people have They've laid everything on the line to us, and we need to do everything we can to ease their transition back into civilian life. In the Cincinnati area, we have a very strong Air National Guard unit and a strong Army National Guard unit. And these people are, are these members of these programs are just everyday workers like you and me, and suddenly they're plucked out of their civilian lives, and they're gone for 18 months. And that transition back, is so challenging to them, not just because of everything they've gone through and the horrors of war that they've seen, but because of these legal and logistical issues that they come back to. So for those who are screaming for some help, just getting set back up in their apartment and trying to figure out where their kids are going to go to school now that the family's reunited and trying to get their job back together and get their clothes ordered for work so they can be presentable, get their car fixed, something like this is going to make all the difference in the world. Ray Pryor, I'm running for the 85th district, which is down in Ross and Fayette counties and part of Pickaway County. I've worked in the veterans business for more than 25 years, nearly 30 years now, and worked with veterans returning from the military, coming back to the civilian world, seeking jobs, seeking training, and frankly, seeking a place to live. And uh, when these veterans come home, the expenses they incur are tremendous. Sometimes moving a family from the West Coast or the East Coast back to Ohio, sometimes uh, not eligible for unemployment for some reason or another. Maybe they stayed where they were separated from uh, and, and returned later. Just this morning, we operate a not-for-profit program that provides assistance to veterans and family members of veterans in need. Just this morning, I had a veteran call me for rent assistance. Just been back home 90 days and didn't have the money to pay the rent on the apartment. This bonus would have given that veteran that money to pay that rent on that apartment. It would have given that veteran that money to make a car repair so they can get back and forth to work. And that's why it's an issue in my district, because we have people that are hurting when they come home and they need that additional services. There are so many things that the state can do for our veterans that we aren't doing, that we should be doing, and we need to work on that. I'm Nancy Garland, uh, and hope to represent the 20th district, which includes the northeast part of, of Franklin County. And my husband is a uh, retired Coast Guard reservist and, and was involved in uh, Desert Storm. My son just started last week in Air Force ROTC at Ohio State. So this is an issue that is, is near and dear to my heart. And in talking to uh, the individuals that have come back from uh, serving in Iran, Iraq, Afghanistan, uh, there is such a transition in, in terms of trying to get acclimated to um, life here in the United States and how things were there. The post-traumatic syndrome issues that they're, they're dealing with, the loss of jobs, um, the loss of, of uh, again, spouses uh, that uh, decided that, that uh, they, they couldn't wait for them to come back, those, those issues. So I feel that it's only right that um, we do what we've done in the past. And uh, we need to make an investment. These people have laid down their lives for us. And we need to show um, our appreciation and again, invest in their futures so that when we uh, confront these issues before, that people understand that their state will support them when they come back. 
and i'm jennifer stewart and i hope to represent the ninety fourth district which rep which includes most of muskingum county and all of coshocton county my father walker huffman is a world war ii navy veteran and is a very proud member of their lst amphibs organization here in ohio and my husband and i have a daughter who is an army captain who was an rotc in college and is finishing her eighth year of a commitment having had tours in south korea and also in afghanistan the impact of this particular combat situation in the middle east has has really had a tremendous impact on families and in our area where we have many veterans and proud serving members of the military the hardship has been felt very deeply with families and i think in particular with those individuals who have had multiple tours there are many instances of those who have had two and maybe three tours from different professions who, who have served so so the impact obviously is very far reaching with their families and with their economic and uh, emotional situation when they return so i think this is a top priority for us as a state in representing our military veterans and in honoring the sacrifice that, that we should never forget so um, I'm proud to be part of this initiative and hope to do everything possible to advance it.